Hi, it's Matt. Today we're going to take a look at this red armored personnel carrier. There's an engine under the hood and the passenger and driver side doors open. If you look in there, you can actually see the driver. Working around the back, the back door is open and inside there are six troopers ready for action. Here's another look at the back. And now a view from above and one from below. So, as is my style, to show you how I put it together, I'm going to take it apart. And this one I did some special pre-prep to make body parts come apart a little easier than normal. That didn't sound right. Anyway, let's get started. First I'm going to pull off the turret. Here's what that looks like underneath. It does traverse up and down, but it's kind of sticky. Now what's interesting about the doors is you can open up one side or the other, or both sides at the same time. As you saw earlier, there's enough room for six troopers, which I thought was pretty cool. I originally had a bench back there, but I took it out because when I put the bench in, then the guys couldn't fit. And there's our six dudes. I made this kind of a body on frame type of deal. So you can see the six guys in there a little better. And it's got a driver up front. Here's what the back of the body looks like. I kind of cheated with these parts here. These are some kind of brand X piece that um, are they are articulated you might be able to find something that you can use from regular Lego there's a little bit closer shot so I take that off the back doors are actually from a kit from the 1970s but I think they made the doors for several years. On the floor of the chassis, I use these flat centering pieces in order to seat the guys. In other words, this part of the back of their legs can sit up against there. And then there, one of their legs can go a little bit lower to lock them, kind of lock them more into place. There goes the windshield frame back this guy up. It's just a little door there. We'll pull the driver out. How's that? It's pretty slick, huh? So here's part of the cab. and the front fenders, and the steering wheel. Okay, now we're looking at the hood and the windshield. This whole assembly, that comes out. Okay, first I'm gonna take off the crash bar. And this whole thing pops off. And you can see there's a blown engine in there. Cool, man. The next module. There goes the front of the engine and the apron around the engine. Next we'll pull out each side of the dashboard. And the firewall. And 
And you can see we're left with the rest of the engine, the chassis, and the front seats. Here's a peek at the underside again. Oops, I think you just discovered a secret. I don't actually have enough red wheels. See? Oops. That's all right. Uh, something else I wanted to point out. When I was putting this together, I was really trying to find another piece like this kind of cornice angle piece. But I tried and tried and couldn't find one. So this side just looks like that. Well, that's as far as I'm going to take it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this just as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. You know, liking doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Please subscribe to see these other upcoming APC builds I did. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye!